Baadhi ya viongozi kutoka upinzani leo walijumuika na waumini wa kanisa la Kianglikana la St Stephen's katika mtaa wa Milimani kaunti ya Kisumu ambapo walikashifu ushuru na otozo na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Wakiongozwa na kinara wa azimio la umoja Raila Odinga, viongozi hao wamelitaka kanisa la Kianglikana kuendelea kuiwajibisha serikali wakitoa wito kwa viongozi wa kanisa hilo kuunga mkono harakati za kupunguza gharama ya maisha. The people who are as true Christians people who are talking about liberation, liberating the people from poverty, from ignorance, and so on, have turned to be the oppressors of the people. And they charge me to speak. The late Archbishop Okun, remember, remember Bishop Mugi, remember Bishop Gitani, this is the clergy that were prepared to stand up and speak the truth at the time when to speak the truth was actually seen as prison. The state capture is real. Some of us have never seen anything wrong with the Ruto government and uh, they seem to be really inside it. And so they can't speak against it, but there are many bad things that people need to talk about. Wadinga pia liishtumu serikali kwa kukataa kuondoa nyongeza za ushuru zilizopitishwa chini ya shirea ya fedha ya mwaka 2023 akiitaka iimarishe mazingira ya kuongezea wa Kenya mapato. There's nothing wrong in collecting taxes. What is wrong is embezzling taxes which have been collected. And then when those taxes are punitive, then it is wrong because the people can no longer tolerate them. Wengine waliokuwepo katika ibada hiyo ni pamoja na gavana wa Kisumu Anyang Nyongo ambaye alikashifu serikali kwa kutotekeleza mfumo wa ushuru unaowajali wa Kenya. Top this expensive kalongolongo taxation. Where even a young man who gets married pays a tax to the government. People will not get married. They will just come and stay together. Very soon they will come if you have a child with tax that one. God forbid. Baadhi ya makatu zaidi yaliyopitishwa chini ya sherehe ya fedha ya mwaka 2023 ni pamoja na ushuru wa nyumba wa asilimia moja nukta tano unaotozwa kwa malipo ya jumla ya wafanyikazi wanaolipwa mishahara na ongezeko la kodi ya mafuta kutoka asilimia nane hadi kumi na sita. Serikali pia imependekeza ushuru wa asilimia tano kwa mazao ya kilimo. Lakini Rais William Ruto ameshikilia kuwa makato hayo yanahitajika ili kuiwezesha nchi kulipa mikopo ambayo sasa inafikia asilimia tatu ya pato la nchi kulingana na takwimu za shirika la fedha la kimataifa. Upinzani hata hivyo unasema ufisadi katika serikali ndio unaosababisha upungufu wa fedha. The situation in this country is so bad because the leadership of this country has decided to deep themselves in corruption and therefore whatever they do even if they raise taxes to whatever level they will never be able to collect revenue to offer services to this country Chama cha Odinga cha ODM kitaanza awamu ya pili ya zoezi la kuwasajili wanachama katika kaunti ya Busia hapo kesho kama njia ya kuimarisha ushawishi wake kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2027 Muriel Adhiambo, Runinga K24.